Hi and welcome to Let's Talk eBay. My name is Rich Bassini. Today is December 24, 2019. Thank you for tuning in. I just want to start off by saying thank you to all the new subscribers who recently subscribed to my channel. It is greatly appreciated. I hope you like the content and come back for more. Today I want to talk about cross promoting. Is cross promoting hurting our eBay sales? Now you're probably wondering, you probably watched one of my other videos about cross selling. This is, however, a little different. It's cross promoting. Now, I love eBay. I've been with it for 20 years. I'm an active seller on it. But the only thing I find a little disappointing on selling on their platform is that they put other sellers' listings on my listing. Now, you're probably wondering how so. I'm going to point that out to you in a minute, but after I show you the video and you, you get a little takeaway from it, I want to know what you guys think about it. Drop me a comment below. Is it okay with you? Are you all right with it? You, you, know, you think it's, it doesn't affect your sales? However, I believe it does. Now, doing this video doesn't necessarily mean it's going to do anything for us. I'm just trying to get the information out there. But I want to make people aware of it that this could be stifling our sales. It could be. I'm saying it could be. So anyway, without further ado, let me talk about a little about you know what I want to what you about this topic. I'm also going to open up Bonanza because that's how I do cross selling. This is not this is the part with the cross promoting. This this video is about cross promoting, but I want to talk about. I sell on Bonanza, which I'm doing cross-selling, and I'm also on Poshmark as well. But I'm not going to deal with the Poshmark, basically. I'm just going to talk about uh, eBay and Bonanza. And I'm going to show you how the two uh, do cross-promoting within your listing. Okay, so without further ado, let's get right to it. Okay, I'm going to try to walk this through really quick. I don't want to expand too much on the topic because, you know, it's just to throw it out there to see what you guys have to say. I want to get feedback is what I'm doing. I want to, I want to know what you guys think about it. All right. First off, as you can see up here, it says, hi, Richard, sign in. I'm not signed in. So I'm going to sign in. I got another window over here. And then I got a, a little, uh, I got a website over here I want to talk about for those of us who are looking to sell on other alternative sites. But it's, again, it's... I'm just throwing it out there. All right. Anyway, let me sign in and I'm going to show you what I'm talking about. And this is all done live. You can see it's no smoke and mirrors, folks. So we're going to click on here. I have to sign in so you get the full effect of this here. I'm going to go to my cell. Okay. And here we are. We're at my active listings. Now, I'm going to just pick one out of random. I'm going to scroll down here. Okay. Um, let's see this one here. Let's try the Snoopy Hallmark keepsake. And by the way, it is still available. <laughs> All right. Let's click this on. Okay. Now, <clears throat> as you can see up here, I'm signed in. Okay. You can see right here, signed in. Shop our gyps for great deals. Okay. And that's the sign out. All right. So we know, again, we are, no, we do know where I am signed in. All right. Now, everything looks normal here, right? You can, you know, we got my pricing you got the shipping cost and we got my description okay now everything looks good all right until you scroll down and you scroll down and you scroll down until you get to here now a lot of people may bake the difference say well you know not necessarily people are gonna scroll all the way down to the bottom you might be making the, you know making a big thing out of nothing but Suppose you're a person like me that's very curious by nature and you are a type of person that wants to, you know, read the whole thing through and maybe you want to see, you know, maybe, I don't know, for some reason you want to go at the bottom of, who knows, I don't know, for whatever reason. So you come to this little wording over here that says more to explore, right here, more to explore. And then you got Hallmark Snoopy Ornaments, Hallmark Peanuts Gallery, so on and so forth. All right, let's click on Hallmark Snoopy ornaments. Okay, now we know when you click it on, it's going to bring you um, to this window. It's going to show you all the items, uh, all the Snoopy related items, or pe uh, pe peanuts, or a Hallmark, or whatever. 
As you can see here, there's 6,055 results. That's how many people are listening to this. Now, I know, you're gonna I know what you're going to say. Well, you know, with high amount of people, you know, with that, that kind of selling, all those people selling those things, it's no likely, you know, most likely you're not going to get a sale. People got 6,055 to choose from. True. Actually, 6,050. Yeah, that's right. Well, if you count mine there. Okay. Anyway, so you look over here and you go, I'm not going to go through 6,000 of them, but I'm going to go down here and I'm going to see, you know, you could see over here what we got. I don't even see mine jumping into this place in this there's no spot for me here okay now you might say okay so what are you going to do what you what do you what are you getting at here all right well, here's the thing now you can see as many pages to this and i am not going to go through all those pages and i'm not going to go through six thousand listings to prove a point to you guys but what i am going to do is i'm going to go back to my listing i just want to show you that there they have that there okay so now you know at the bottom of your page you're going to see more to explore Okay, now let me go over here. I'm going to copy and paste this. Right, I'm going to copy it first, and I'm going to. Well, I'm going to. I have to sign out in order for you to see what I'm referring to. So let's sign out of here, and I get another window where I'm not signed in. Okay, so you signed out. See you again soon. Okay, so now it says hi, Rich is signed in. So you know I'm not signed into this uh, my eBay account. So now let's paste that there. And let's go over here to a search. And when you do the search, I come up second on the page. Okay? They say, "Wait, well, hey, that's good. People do a search and they can become, that, that that's that's wonderful. We ain't, let me get through it first before we start thinking it's okay. So we're gonna click it on. And I know it's mine because it's right there. Shop RJ Pacini for great deals. Right, right. Okay. Anyway, so now we're not on a signed active eBay account. I mean, I'm not signed into my account. As you can see, it says, hi, Richard, sign in, okay? This is just like you or me or whatever. Somebody just happened to type this information in here, and, you know, this is what it looks like. Okay, it looks great, right? looks fine. Now, everything looks good. The pricing, the shipping and handling charge, right? Okay. Buy it now. We have to cut and so on. Okay, everything looks good, right? All right. Let's scroll down a little more. I did, remember, this is my listing and right here, okay? Scroll down a little more and look what we have here, folks. Similar sponsored items. Now, it doesn't take rocket science to figure this out, but my personal take is by displaying this, it's going to, it, prob it probably could, and I know it could in some great case because it did for me. And I'll share a really quick little story with you. I have two printers. I use my HP printer. Is one is an HP uh, LaserJet printer. Right, okay, this does it just does strictly. You know, I just have to buy toner for it. And the other one is a uh, HP All-in-One where I buy my ink cartridges. Anyway, long story short, I needed toner cartridge for my HP printer, the laser printer. So I came to a site like mine, and I seen the advertisement here, the advertisement. And when I came across it, I looked at it. These little guys popped up, similar sponsored, okay? What do you think I did? What do you think I did? Exactly. I got a better deal from the people over here, and I forgot all about this seller. I was all ready to hit the buy it now button for that particular toner. I thought it was a great price to buy 100% feedback. I liked everything about it. Free shipping. I think it was free shipping. But anyway, because he had a better pricing, I bought it off of the similar sponsored uh, items. Okay, now this, now think about this, folks. I pay for this listing to be here. This is kind of like, as I would like to refer to as my real estate. Now, I know some people may say, well, that's, you know, that's true to some point, but it is eBay site. And if they want to put that there, they could. And if people don't like it, then you could go elsewhere to shop. And everybody's doing it. eBay does it. Amazon does it. Uh, Bonanza, no second, I'm going to show you, does it. But the thing is, I have no problem with you doing that, but do it on a separate website, okay? Don't do it on a, on a seller's website, I mean a seller's listing, because that's going to make things harder for a buyer to, make, you know, it, it's going to draw that particular buyer away from your listing in some cases, and they're going to go elsewhere. Now, check this out.
Okay, you follow me? Keep following now, okay? Keep, keep, keep watching what I'm talking about. Here's my description. All right, now we get to my description. Keep going down. Everything looks good, right? Sure, it looks great. Love it. Watch this. Boom. Now you got them on the bottom, right underneath my description. Look, here's my description. Right underneath it. Disappears. And then you go a little further down, and you get another one. Okay? And then, to make matters worse, they have more to explore. <laughs> right here. I want to know, all I want to know is, I'm not going to make a big thing. I'm not going to harp on it because there's nothing I can do about it. Okay? All right? There's nothing I can do about it. And if eBay is watching, maybe you might want to reconsider taking these sponsored ads off of other sellers' uh, uh, listings because it's not fair. Okay? Now, eBay does it. Okay? As you can see it. It's done. It's right here. This is no smoke and mirrors. It's right here. You can try your own out. Try it for yourself. Let me know what you think. Okay? Now, let's go over here to Bonanza. Here's my Bonanza store. Top rated seller. Mmm, great. Okay. For those who don't know anything about Bonanza, Bonanza basically uh, emulates everything that's being sold on eBay. So this is Bonanza store. And then if you go to eBay and you sign in, uh, I already signed out. Uh, their stores are similar. Uh, let's sign out. I'll show you what I'm talking about. I'll show you what I'm talking about. They're, they're basically one and the same. You would think they copied each other. Let's go check this store out. You'll see what I'm talking about. I visit my store. And if you look at my store and Bonanza's store, they're almost identical. One's a little more streamlined. And this is uh, eBay store here. Okay. They're a little more open format, a little wider. Okay. But this is what eBay has. Okay. All right. It's almost the same thing. All right. And you click it on, it'll take you to where you got to go. All right. And the same thing with Bonanza. Okay. Now, Bonanza, like I said again, it's pretty good. You go to their window. This is my, bu my booth. Okay. Um, when you visit your booth, it comes up Shop RJ for great deals. And as you know, you do not see any advertisements up here. You're going to see women's fashion, that stuff, and so on and so forth. Okay. I understand that part. I have no problem with that. So, when you, even when you go down to the bottom, of these listings, uh, you won't see, as far as I know, let me see if there is now, if I'm mistaken here, okay, you won't see, uh, at least I don't see anything here where it says any, any type of linking uh, links or, you know, links to other uh, seller sites, okay? So let's go back again really quick. Let's go back to the one, same one. I want to show you something a little interesting with this as well. Let me go back over here. Where is it? I'm sorry. Here we go. This is mine, as you will know. And by the way, the items on this site here on Bonanza is, I think it's either 4 or 5% cheaper than uh, the one on eBay. I don't know. I know I could have done a little better, but ah, whatever. Anyway, let's click it on. Okay, so now you go here. Now look up here. Watch this change. Watch it's going to change up. Boom. You see that? Did you see it happen? Let's try it again in case you guys missed it. Let's go to this again here. Let's go back. Keep your eye on the top now. I'm going to move my mouse cursor. Boom. See it? All right. Now, as you, as you notice, this is Amazon Smile. This is the view wall. Now, as you notice, they don't have as much as uh, eBay does. They only show you three listings here outside the top one up here. And, of course, they tell you to view it, you're going to view it on Amazon. Now, here's what I was told, all right? The reason why things like this pop up, this is where you got to be a little careful in some cases. The reason why things like this pop up is because I have an Amazon link up here, or I don't know if it's any, one of these here, and I think when you go to that site, it'll, I think it automatically pops up like that. You can see I got the Amazon Scout Pro, Amazon for sellers. Somebody had stated, the reason why this pops up is because you got that that uh, that little app or whatever uh, placed up here, and that's why it comes up. But in any event, in any event, this is the point I'm bringing across the cross promoting. Now on this site, on this site here on Bonanza, I hardly, I don't, I didn't make that many sales. Okay. However, eBay, on the other hand, now. Here's the thing with eBay. When you go to their homepage, let's check this out really quick. I'm signed in. All right. You're going to get the advertisements. There's no doubt about it. You're going to get them. 
And, you, you know, this is their site. Like I said, again, they can do whatever you want. This is their, like, the, I call it their splash page. Okay, and they're gonna show you. Then they show you the items you view, uh, recently viewed. Okay, yeah, that I understand. eBay tracks you too, by the way. Um, they track you, and then you'll be getting email or advertisement saying, "Hey, we noticed you checked this out. Would you be interested in this?" All right. So keep that in mind too. They do. eBay does track you on that. I know it firsthand because I've seen it happen. All right. Uh, I've been getting advertisements from them saying, "Hey, we we noticed you checked this out. Why don't you check this? You know, you might be interested in this program, whatever or item." Okay. Now, when however. When you do click on that particular item, let's let's click on mine again. Let's see what happens here. You notice you don't see any advertisements up here like you do on Bonanza. Now, in the past, you're gonna get these popping up here. That's that's a given. Okay. But there was a time when I was clicking up here and I used to see Amazon selling uh, Amazon would pop up up here, and that's because I had an Amazon what do you call these things? I get, I don't know, these little links, whatever, up there. And it was on the, I don't know if I activate, deactivate, but all I know is I used to see on my listings right above it, I would see the um, Amazon uh, listing up here. <laughs> all right. And I thought it was kind of odd, but then I said again, well, they're kind of like intermingled with this. This particular app was intermingled with Amazon. So I guess in any website you went on, that would pop up. But it's at some point. I don't know how true that is. But anyway, that's what I was getting. That's the point I was getting across with that part there. I don't see it anymore, as you can see, and I am signed in. All right. All I want to know is what you guys think about that. What do you think about the cross selling on platforms? Are you okay with it? Does it bother you? It bothers me. Um, I don't really like the idea of it, but it's there. And I think in some cases that's why um, you could always close it out, but it doesn't matter because it's running in the background. That's why I think. Uh, I make very little sales on eBay and on Bonanza as well because they do that there, all right? And uh, you'll see, even though you close it out, when you refresh the screen right here, I'll refresh it again, you're going to see it's going to pop up. Just keep your eye on it. Watch the top. Boom, it's there. So even though you close it out, it's still there. So most likely, it could be because that app is what's controlling it. But I don't know why it's got to tag into Bonanza's website. I don't know. Maybe it's because of any site you go to, it's going to pop up there. I don't know. You know, I didn't, I didn't really explore into other sites. But let's go. Here's a, here's a site I want to share with you guys really quick. So we're going to get off that topic right now as far as the cross morning. Let me know what you guys think, all right? If you, if you think you're okay with it and it doesn't bother you, fine. And, you know, I just want to get feedback. That's all I'm doing this video for, for feedback. Now let's go to this site here, all right? Now, I don't mean that I'm not, sound, I'm not trying to sound like I contradicted myself with eBay. I do love eBay, and people might say, well, why are you putting this on here? Um, because, again, I, I'll be the first to tell you I do cross-selling, okay? Um, and I thought, and there are other sellers out there that cross-sell, and I know this because I hear them talk about the YouTube channel. Some people do cross-sell, okay? Uh, in some cases, you have no alternative. You, know, you, have no, you, know, you need to. You have to. You know, you, you got to try to make those sales, try to keep that money coming in, you know. Um, so over here, it says, this one came out. Let me give you the URL because, I, and for those who are new, I do not read everything verbatim. I will give you the URL and the rest is up to you to pick up where I left off. This one is from salewho.com. It's www.salewho.com. The story you're looking for is sick of eBay, tried the best alternative places to sell in 2020. Okay, I'll read a little into it. They also have a video. You could check it out. I highly recommend you check it out. It's 14 minutes and 37 seconds long. I'm not going to play it because I don't want to take too much of your time. I know you guys are busy, and therefore, I don't want to do that there. Uh, but if you listen to this gentleman, he'll talk all about it, and he'll tell you about uh, the alternative, the best alternatives to selling products on eBay. I'll read a little into it right now. So you're in a funk with eBay. Maybe you're just looking on uh, out into the big world of selling platforms to see what opportunities lay yonder. Either way, you've uh, ended up here, and you're wondering about the top alternatives to eBay, which ones will suit you, suit you most. Uh, no one can deny the power of eBay since 1995. eBay has held its place as one of the largest marketplaces in the world. It has turned thousands of hobbyists into power sellers, allowed thousands more to run profitable at-home uh, home businesses. However, eBay uh, marketplace has evolved significantly in this recent years, and various policy changes have prompted an exodus from eBay as sellers look for other most lucrative online marketplaces.
Now, you click this video on, this gentleman will tell you more about certain things about the alternative, you know, the best alternative to selling products on eBay. He's going to talk uh, about Amazon. Most likely, I think he's going to touch base on Amazon. These are the ones he's talking about, Craigslist, New Wake, uh, Walmart, and of course, you can put your suggestions there. Etsy, eBay, eCreator, your online store, if you choose to put it there, Bonanza, Rakuten, and Ruby Lane, and niche-specific sites. Now, a niche-specific site would be like Poshmark, okay? That's, I'm just throwing it out there. Poshmark, <clears throat> Etsy, because they sell like used clothes or whatever, something like that. I think those type, declutter, thread up, those are like more like for the gear towards the clothing companies. Okay, so now there's a lot of text to read here. Look at the slide bar, how far it goes down. I'm not going to read all of this here. Matter of fact, I'm not going to read any of it. <laughs> I'm going to let you guys read it. That's why I gave you the URL. But as you scroll down here, and I and I, I know what you're probably thinking. If I scroll down, oh well, you could you could look. I could scroll it down to the, to the bottom of the thing, the page, and you could check it out for yourself if you want. To pause the video. But you see here, there's active hyperlinks, and I say this in all my videos. If you want to get more information, you need to go directly to the site to get that information to hit, to uh, use those, you know, take advantage of the active hyperlinks. Okay, you're going to need to do that. All right. Now, what they're doing is how, like it says on here, the type, the title here is how Amazon compares directly to eBay, and you're going to read about this here. Okay, eBay charges sellers, and then it says for listing the site regardless of uh, success, uh, as well as taking commission when a sale is made. Then it says over here you can list on Amazon for free. Which is safer? Uh, you have nothing to lose. A listing is successful, but you'll pay 99 cents per item. Uh, sold on top of the commission for the sale if you have a basic free seller's account. Okay. Again, there's too much text to read here. This is up to you. You guys have to take that initiative as far as like what do you want to do. I mean, you know, you're going to do your research and say, well, you know, maybe Etsy's good, maybe Amazon's good. You're going to do your own research. Okay. And again, how does Etsy compare to directly to eBay? All right, and then they'll talk a little about that. Selling platforms similar to, yeah, to Etsy, and they'll talk about that. Bonanza, okay? Bonanza, fast growing online marketplace. It's growing, but it doesn't have the, uh, so, so to say, clout like, like uh, eBay does. You know, it's, it's a nice site. It's pretty good. I'm sure, it, I'm sure things are going to change as time goes on. Um, you can see over here, it says over here, uh, a lot of sellers are making good money on Bonanza. The site, uh, the site has merchants and, and shoppers. In um, nearly every county, uh, every country of the, uh, around the world, more than 40,000 sellers have already created a business this year. Okay, look, I love these sites. I think they're great sites. I still love eBay. I love Amazon, and I'm not. I'm an. I'm a registered seller on Amazon. I don't really. I think I have one thing listed: there, the printer, and it's not. It's just been sitting there. I'm gonna have to eventually take it off because it's stagnating there. Um, Binance is a great site too. Okay, but again, uh, then they'll tell you how to succeed with Binance. Bonanza actually provides a really helpful guide for making sales. Again, you click this on an active hyperlink. Okay, uh, it says over here you can make a profit on any uh, any of its categories, but some of the top selling ones are currently include home and garden, women's fashion, health and beauty, and collectibles. Okay, then you got Craigslist, another one. How to, uh, how Craigslist directly compares to eBay, and the list goes on and on and on and on. Like I said, I could scroll it down. Okay, now they tell you basically. Um, some examples of items that you can sell on Craigslist, tools of all kinds, kitchen appliance, electronics, bicycles, and related items, okay? eBid is another one, okay? Again, how it directly compares to eBay, all right? And then you got Rakuten, right? That's uh, Amazon, that's the, they call it the Amazon Japan. I, I heard of them, I never, I don't know too, too much about them. Newegg, I remember hearing about them many years ago. They deal with computer stuff, if I'm not mistaken, okay? And again, they always give you the comparisons. How new way compares directly to eBay. All right. Now I'll take it down to the bottom. If you guys choose that you don't want to, um, you know, go to the site, I highly recommend you do. I think it's foolish if you don't because you could check out the hyperlinks. Here's another one here, eCreator. Now I'm looking at this really quick as I'm talking to you. I've eCreator 100% free online marketplace. The main appeal of eCreator is that it's free to set up an uh, set up a store, and even has templates you can use to easily create and attract uh, an attractive store. It is said to easily import your listings from eBay. Now, this is good. See, now, if I can import my listings onto this site, just like you could do with Bonanza, then this is something I'm going to look into. 
because I don't, I'm not going to go do it one by one. I mean, even though I only have 100 listings, that's fine and everything. But if I could do something like they have, like Bonanza, I, I'm going to take advantage of it. Why not? The more exposure you get out there, hopefully it'll be better. I don't know. I mean, this is what I, this is my way of thinking. Then you got Ruby Lane. Okay, again, they'll tell you how it compares with eBay and so on and so forth. Then you got Walmart. Okay, how Walmart Marketplace compares direct with eBay. There, uh, there were no setup. There were no setup of maintenance fees. Merchants just pay for referral fee between eight and twenty percent of su successful sales. You know, so again, there, there's a lot, a lot of information out there, folks, for you guys to digest. Um, you got to do. You got to take the, the initiative and to go. I, I'll, look, my job, as far as I'm concerned, being a, a YouTube creator and an eBay seller and online. Uh, and uh, online entrepreneur, what do you want to call me? My job is to get this information out there for you guys. Now you're saying when I say my job, you're saying, "What well, does someone pay you to do this?" No, I give free information out right now, as of now. <laughs> um, you know, but and I probably will most likely will we will be continue doing that. Uh, however, the thought of uh, creating, you know, doing merch and stuff like that, and you know, doing something to monetize this. Uh, uh, channel, uh, you know, that could be coming in the near future or maybe soon. Who knows? I don't know. I can't go that far in advance. Anyway, um, but that's what we got going on here. And then again, you do your research. How do uh, eBay alternatives compare? And you could see the list how they got it over here. Okay. And I'll tell you so, where do I sell? A lot of reading, you know, a lot of information here. Uh, and you can take it on you now. I don't know this. And you can check out the comments. There's, I think, a total of 700 comments see up here. A total of 700 of them. Uh, if you want to leave, you know, you want to share your thoughts, you can on this site and uh, see what they have to say. I'm not going to read through all 700 comments, but I'll take it to the bottom. I'm going to scroll fast. I'll take it to the bottom. These are all 700. Okay. <laughs> um, yeah, it says view more comments. <laughs> you guys could do that. That's why I gave you the URL. All right. Now, uh, again, um, you know, I'm going to leave this site up because I definitely would like to check into the other one. Uh, Sale Who, however, does have you could read over there a little more information. I I I, I just want to say one thing. I have no affiliate links with Sale Who whatsoever. Okay. I don't want people to think, oh, if you go to the site, he's going to get a kickback. I am not going to get a kickback. Um, if I am, if I was uh, an affiliate market, you know, affiliate uh, I had an affiliate market with them, you know, affiliation with them. As far as that, uh, I would let you know that I will be getting uh, something uh, every time someone clicks on their website. I have no affiliate links with them. Okay, just to let you know. All right, and you can read some of their success stories. Okay, you could check them out like that. You can read the success stories. I don't know how many they got, but yeah, check it out. All right, these are some of the success stories. All right, uh, and then they also they got a product tour. You could do a product tour of their site. You could drop shipper supplies, wholesale supplies, market research, training dashboard. Okay, and they also have pricing, no doubt. <laughs> uh, here, for one year full access, a flat price on limit access is for $67, which I guess is not too bad. What's the lifetime one? Let's see the lifetime. Okay. So you got lifetime access uh, if you want to sign up with them for $127. I guess it ain't bad if you're going to, uh, you know, if you feel this is going to be very uh, helpful to you. Um, you know, not bad. I, I think it's pretty good in some cases. Uh, if someone to ask me, am I going to be doing it? Well, at this point in time, uh, no. <laughs> um, like I said, I, people who know me, I consider myself a frugal entrepreneur, and uh, I always try to find alternative ways to save money. And if I, I try to get the, almost the same results with little or no uh, investing whatsoever. However, there are people out there that may not think along the way I think, and they may say, well, that's your way of thinking, and this is my way of thinking, and therefore I'm going to do things the way I see fit. And like I said, that may work for you. Uh, you may be financially in a different situation than I am, and you got the extra cash to play around with. Uh, at this point in time, I have to, everything's accounted for with my situation. So that's basically it. All right, uh, I'm just going to close out this video. And then, um, you know, that'll be it. So if you guys want to stick around for my closing, my, my closing thoughts, I'm just going to share that with you. And then we're going to close this out. So stick around, please. Well, that concludes this video. I hope you found the information helpful. And if you did, please don't forget to hit that subscribe button, like, comment, and share. And if you want to be updated to when I post on videos, please hit that bell notification icon. My name is Rich Bassini. You're watching Let's Talk eBay. I do these videos, folks to help inspire and share. Sometimes it sounds like I go into a rant or I'm complaining. With this particular video, I know it sounds a little of both, but 
what I would hope to get out of it and hope to share with you guys out there, and I'm basically, the reason why I did this video is because I want to get your, I want to find out, I want to get some information back from you. I want to get feedback from you guys and see what you think about what I'm talking about. Do you think it's okay? Are you all right with it? Do, you know, you think it's fair what eBay's doing? Do you think it's wrong? I don't know. I just want to get feedback with you guys. It's been bothering me, and I, when I see that, I, I really don't like what I see when it comes to things of that nature, especially I'm paying you guys to uh, sell and av basically advertise or sell my listing on your, you know, you know, sell my product on your listing or your website, I should say. And then I see that there, it kind of like bothers me. I don't know, you, like I said again, I don't know how you guys feel. Maybe some people don't think about it like I do. Maybe you never thought about it. Maybe, you know, when you checked your listings out, maybe periodically you might check your list out to see if it's being, you know, in search, how is it, how is it ranking in search? Does it even come up in search? I don't know. But you know, sometimes it takes one person to bring something to another person's attention. And again, I am not doing this here in a, in a bad way. And it's not, it's not to, you know, make any derogative remarks about eBay or bash them in any way. I'm just hoping that maybe eBay, if they do watch this video, Maybe they could do something to restructure that, you know, redo it a little different. Don't put, uh, don't put those sponsored or similar sponsored ads on other sellers' you know, listings. It's not fair. I don't think it's right. And I think it draws business away from that particular seller. I mean, think about it. I know people have, well, there's choices. I understand. And listen, I have no problem if a person does a search, and it's a global search or whatever, meaning that it goes, well, it, global media, meaning it goes throughout the United States and around the world, whatever. Well, where, whatever countries are selling on eBay, I should say. It's all fair. It's all fair game, you know. Um, but the thing is, um, you know, there's enough competition out there. And the more eBay does things of this nature, maybe they don't think of it that way as a bad thing. Maybe they figure, well... Those people are paying those promotions. Maybe that's part of the promoted uh, listings thing. I don't know. Promoted listings, I feel, is supposed to bring you up higher up in search. You know, whatever. Or, you know, supposed to make you, your, your items more noticeable. Who knows? I don't know. This is what you hear. I hear so many different stories about this topic, and it, it does drive one crazy sometimes. But seriously, um, you know, why is, it that, why, why is it that you have to have other people's listings with your listing? You know, that's to me. I consider that my real estate. Um, you know, I don't. I don't. I wouldn't like it. I wouldn't like it. You know, if I had a store, and somebody's putting a sign to their store, and they go, like, if I'm selling, if I'm a discounted store, and I'm someone's putting a sign, oh, go to uh, go to Harry's, and you'll save ten percent discount, and they plastered a sign right on my front window, my my you know my store window. I wouldn't like it. That's what it's like to me. You know, it's like, you know, I'm paying you for this listing, but yet you're putting everybody else's listings on there. And I, and I feel it drives business away. But I really wish eBay, um, if they are watching this here, they, if they could see what I'm referring to, they may, you know, they may you know, come up with some kind of resolution saying, well, you know, maybe the guy's got a point here. You know, maybe we shouldn't do that there. Look, it's your site. You're going to do what you want with it. But at the same time, you know, why don't you have a, a set up a, an additional site uh, for sponsored listings? Why don't you put something like that in the mix? You know, keep eBay, keep it as a, as a, you know, maybe you could separate it. Like in other words, you know, the eBay will be, you know, for the sellers and buyers. And if you want to do something, set up another site that's going to be for promoted listings or whatever, or people that want to promote their products or whatever, do it that way. It's like, in other words, it's you, it's you, you know, like, you know, we're just sending up an alternative. It's, it's going to be like two eBays, but one will be for promoter listings and one will be for people that just want to sell, average sellers. You know, you could do something like that. But to, to, to put everything, you know, tying in all this stuff on all other sellers and buyers' listings, I think is very unfair. You know, I don't think it's right. Um, so if you guys, if eBay out there is watching this video and come across it, look, I'm not bashing your company. I've been with you for 20 years. Um, I've been on and off, that is. I've been selling with you guys for on and off for 20 years. And um, I have to honestly say my sales haven't been, you know, stellar. They're, they're, I can't even say they're okay. They're very slow, um, really slow. 
And uh, for the most part, you know, it would be nice if you could do something to rectify that. So um, that's all basic I want to say, guys. And I, like I said again earlier, um, I'm, doing this, I'm, I'm doing this video because I want to get feedback from you guys out there. For those of you who are sellers, or buyers are also sellers as well, I want to know, I want to just get a takeaway on what you think about it. Am I wrong? Am I wrong for, you know, bringing this to everybody's attention out there? Or is it okay? Is it just something that's accepted? And we got to, I know we got to grin and bear it for now. But, you you know, do you think it's right or wrong? That's all. I mean, if you're okay with it, then, you know, you want to drop a comment below and say, well, look, I'm okay with it. I'm making sales. And I'm sure you are. Um, I've been making sales on very little sales. And it, because this didn't just come out. This was there for a while, no doubt. Um, but I'm just trying to say maybe that's why the sales are very slow. And maybe this is why, you know, things ain't picking up. But then again, I've been on other sites, uh, other seller sites that have, you know, that have YouTube channels. And they are making sales every single day. Every day they're making sales. Every day. There's not one day they missed from November right up to December. And God knows how far, how far back it goes. But you know what? That's okay. You know, look, kudos to them. Uh, they may have products out there or items that they're selling that, you know, maybe appeal to other uh, you know, particular potential buyers, whereas opposed to the stuff I'm selling is just everyday stuff. And, you know, selling clothes is a hard sell. But I, that's why I'm on Poshmark. I figured maybe with Poshmark, I can get a little, you know, push in sales, but it's not really working. With Poshmark, too, um, all I get is a lot of people following you but no buyers. It's just like eBay. I get a lot of watches, but no takers. So <laughs> there's something wrong along the way. Now, you know, maybe eBay is doing something with their algorithm. Uh, I heard stories like if you're a small seller, you're kind of like, I don't know how true it is. I can't, everything's all hearsay. But I thought I heard somewhere if you're a small seller, you're kind of like on the totem pole, you're kind of like stacked at the bottom as opposed to the high volume sellers that are on top. That's probably why they get a lot of notice, you know, notifi um, notoriety, notice, you know, they get noticed uh, more frequent. Um, the people I watched is two, actually, it's three people. I'm not going to mention their names. They are eBay sellers, and they sell on on uh, they sell on eBay. Like I said, some of them, most, all three of the ones I'm saying, the particular ones I'm watching. Whoops, sorry about that, folks. The particular ones I'm watching have two accounts. All three of these guys I I follow have two accounts each. Some have over a thousand listings on one account, and another account the person might have under 400. And I'm not saying we so. Well, so what's that? What are you saying? That's their strategy. They got two selling accounts. I don't know what it is, but they got two sell accounts. Me, I don't. I only want one. Okay, I want one. I don't. Why do they have two? I don't know. That's that's their. It, whatever it is, it's working for them. That's all I can tell you. They're making sales every day. Maybe that might be something for people to want to do, look into. Maybe you might want to open up a second account. I am not going to. I always say a man with less has less to worry about. I don't have time to take care of this site and that site. Uh, even like on my YouTube channel, I got four different uh, YouTube channels. I mean, like, you know, you might say, well, what are you doing four different ones? I don't know. One is for. The uh, shop RJPC for great deals. Another one's for the women's clothing. You got, I think, either two more, one more, two more, whatever. And it's like, it's ridiculous. I don't know why. I don't, I would like to get rid of them, but I'm afraid to do it because if you don't know how to do it right, you might wipe out the main one. This is my main YouTube channel. I don't want to wipe that out. So I just kind of like leave them doing. But I will, I do on occasion, I will say this with the other ones because I don't want to overburden this one here. Every time I do a video on a demo or sneak peek video, um, I don't know if I always want to put it on this particular channel. But I'm thinking, of, like I said, for 2020 to trade up here and do a little difference on here. You know, make this channel a little different, you know, perk it up a little with different content and, you know, talk about different topics. So uh, I don't know. I'm, I'm, I'm working things out here, folks. All I know is for the new year, God willing, um, I'd like to do different things with this uh, YouTube channel in regards to, uh, you know, my content. And uh, I want to still, uh, still be doing reselling news and let's talk eBay. So uh that that's not going to go away just yet if there is any changes for those who are followers of my youtube channel you guys will be the the first to know about it all right and i also want to say one last thing in closing for those of you who are subscribers and new subscribers um or let's say you were a visitor that for the first time you just hit my channel i just want to say welcome and thank you okay to the subscribers and if you are thinking about subscribing welcome to my channel i hope you like the content they put out 
on this channel, I do not discuss religion or politics, and there's no profanity whatsoever. Okay? Um, you're not going to see me doing any zany antics. I'm not going to go jumping off a cliffs, hang gliding, or whatever, doing anything like that. Uh, my channel, for all intents and purposes, is to help inspire and share. And um, I, am, I am also a vlogger as well. So for those of you who do follow me on this channel, uh, so subscribe, I should say, you may see me doing uh, videos on different topics, photography, you know, digital photography, regular photography. I'm not a videographer, and I'm not a professional photographer, but I like to talk about photography at times, or you know, do things of that nature. I may talk about the software I use to create my videos, you know, uh, the company I host with, or how I built my website, and stuff like that. So those type of topics I'm gonna share, do it yourselves, how-to videos, you know, if you look at some of my videos in the past, from what I did in the past, in the beginning, you'll know the, the you know, very basic videos. You could tell I was breaking into this year. Um, but uh, I have to honestly say uh, this in regards to uh, where eBay and uh, YouTube relate with one, another, with one another. I have to say kudos to uh, eBay in respect. Uh, they're the ones that got me started with YouTube. And if it wasn't for eBay, um, I probably wouldn't have this YouTube channel. Now, people may say, well, how so? Why, what do you mean you wouldn't have it? Well, let me explain something really quick. Uh, back in the day when I was started, I, I signed up with YouTube. It was back, I think, in July of 2013, I think it was. Something on the line. I think it was in 2013. Um, I didn't know what to do videos about. So the first thing that came to my mind is, you know, I'm hearing about it all this. I was reading at the time, oh, YouTube, YouTube, YouTube. So I said, you know what? Why not do a video doing demo videos, sneak peek videos, and intro videos. I said, maybe that's a way to break into doing a YouTube channel. And it was because I did it because I listed an item on eBay. And I said, you know what? It would be nice to have a video to go along with that, that particular item. Because, you know, back then eBay, I believe, you know, the eBay was letting, I believe eBay was letting people put um, videos into their YouTube, on their, in their uh, eBay listing. And, you know, one thing led to the other. Some of my videos have, some, some videos have, um, what do you call it there? Have, some videos have, um, oh my gosh, I'm trying to think. Some videos have, some of my listings have videos in them, some of them don't. So uh, I don't do it all the time, but like basically like for the Cura coffee pots, I will do, I, I did demo videos on that there and I will embed them in with my eBay listings. And in some cases people ask, well, let me ask you a question. I've had this in the past. Do you find that um, those, you know, by, by embedding videos in your listings, it helps. In some cases, it's a yes, in some cases, it's a no. I've had got, I have in the past gotten kind of from a particular uh, buyers who made a purchase, said, the reason why I purchased this thing is because your video, you know, I like the way you, you presented your video, your demo is what sold me on it. Um, in some cases, it doesn't do anything, or if it did, the buyer is not leaving a feedback telling me, so I don't really know. I only can say that there might have been two out of the ones I've been putting videos in, uh, embedding videos in my eBay listings that may have said, well, the video is what sold me on this particular item. I don't know. I mean, you know, <laughs> but maybe people don't, maybe the people don't want to watch videos when they go into an eBay listing. They're not interested in watching videos, but uh, in some cases it can help. Um, I like doing videos. It don't bother me. I mean, I could, I, I mean, it's like second nature. I mean, if I ran a video, if I did a demo video right now, I could pop it on eBay and within a matter of minutes, it's really cut and dry for me. Um, matter of fact, I'm gonna, I, I don't know if I did a video like that, but I'm planning on doing a video on how to embed list, how to embed videos into eBay listings. Um, that'll probably be coming up. I don't know if I was even thinking about doing it today or maybe tomorrow. Who knows? I don't know what Christmas is coming up. So, I mean, tomorrow's Christmas. So, I don't know. I mean, I'm toying around with these ideas. And like, like I said, I got a lot of things I want to do for the new year, God willing, coming up. So, uh, if you guys are going to be interested, you know, if you, if you want to be interested in new content, um, you know, for coming up for the new year, please subscribe to my channel. I am, you know, I'm really trying really hard uh, to get this channel to hit the thousand subscriber mark. It's really hard. Uh, I am trying to do the best I can out there to put good content out there. Um, and, you know, I, I'm doing the best I can. And I hope you guys that do, you know, hit this channel if you're a visitor for the first time, I do hope you, you know, get a takeaway from my videos and, you know, uh, like, like, like me as an individual and like the content I put out. I'm a, I'm a straight shooter. I tell it like it is. I don't sugarcoat anything. Um, you know, I, and, I, and I like to share information. 
I love sh- I love sharing information with people. Right now, I don't charge anything for anything I put out. Any any links or like any of the websites I talk about when I share these you know these uh, websites with you guys, I don't have no affiliate links with them. And if I like I said earlier, if I do have them, I will let you know. I'll say. Yes, I have an affiliate link with this company, that company, whatever. And if you guys click it on, I'm going to get a take. You know, I'm going to get a little kickback from it. I, I'm not. Okay, my channel is not monetized. And how I can prove it to you is if you look it up, if you do a YouTube search or your Google search on there. In order for a channel to be monetized, you have to have 4,000 hours of watch time, and the key number is 1,000 subscribers, which I don't have. Um, my channel is getting there, slow but surely. You know, so. Um, it's growing organically, let's put it that way, which I like. Uh, I do take advice from other you know, successful YouTube guys, uh, creators out there, on how to make it, you know, get better uh, views and more subscribers. But I notice the watch count um, when people do go to my videos, if they're long, they don't watch, they don't stand a video on the, uh, the video too long, they don't watch it to the end. Um, maybe they get bored after a while, I don't know. I wish somebody would tell me more, uh, would drop a comment below and tell me what, more, and what they would like to hear more of. And I would love to uh, expand on that topic, you know. But anyway, guys, listen. Um, I don't know. It is it's going on three o'clock here. By the time I finish with this video, it's going to take a long time to upload it. So I don't know if I'll be making another one later or today. If not, I would like to do uh, one for tomorrow. For I always like to send, in some cases, a Christmas greeting video to all my subscribers. So um, if I don't do it today, I'll probably do it tomorrow. I know it's Christmas, but. I just I, I like to do things like that there, you know, for the holidays, you know, Christmas, New Year's, whatever. Uh, just send you some videos, just to um, you know, like a Christmas cheer type of thing. So you may be getting something for me tomorrow, and you know, I, I just want to say, uh, most likely I probably won't be doing another video. Um, I just want to say I'm wishing you guys all a happy holiday, Merry Christmas, and um, I, I hopefully I'll be doing a video before the New Year. Maybe I will see why not, um, but you know. I just, I just hope everything works out. Hope you guys out there have a happy, healthy uh, new year coming up. And uh, if you are an eBay seller, uh, I'm wishing you all the best in your sales. I know I'm wishing myself all the best in sales. I'm hoping things will pick up after tomorrow or, you know, going, going for, you know, pertaining to the rest of the week. Uh, that, you know, things will be better for us. I don't know. Um, in regards to, like I said, sharing that information, uh, again, it's, it's not to uh, hurt eBay or anything. It's just to, you know, throw it out there. I just want to see what kind of feedback I get from you guys if you think, you know, what you think about it. So if you get a chance, drop a comment below if you if you choose to do so. Some people may be reluctant and not want to. That's fine, you know. But uh, I just want to share that information with you guys. Have a great day. Have a great holiday. And I will talk to you guys the next time. My name is Rich Bassini. Bye-bye for now.